everyone, welcome back. So, um, so firstly, sorry, I forgot to do the face. <laughs> so you've just got me hand painting on uh, a nail. I'm actually painting on Mario, Mario, Mario. How do you say it? Mario, Mario, I don't know. But we went to the cinema the other day and we went to see the Super Mario Brothers film. And it, you know, it made me so nostalgic. So I decided that I was gonna hand paint Mario on a nail. And I've actually, in this set that I'm going to show you, there are three nails, but I'm only going to do today the hand-painted Mario nail because it took me an hour and a half, it took me ages. So I've done my background. The background, I'm going to show you how i done that tomorrow. <clears throat> We're going to do like a 3D piranha plant and um, another nail using some decals that nail sugar have that I thought would go really well with this set. So this is the background that I'll be showing you how I done it tomorrow. The uh, th the actual Mario design, I have used one of those mechanical pencils, you know the pencils that you uh, click, you click and the lead comes out and the lead that comes out is really thin. So it's it gives you like a really nice, because the pencil's really sharp, you're able to draw on the nail if you know what I mean. So I've done my bottom design. If you don't, you don't have to do any design on the bottom. You can just sort of do a plain colour. I initially hadn't, I didn't think Mario was going to be this big, which is why I'd done the background, but you can hardly see any of the background. So if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't have bothered with the background on this now. But so yeah, anyway, I've drawn him on with pencil very scruffily and I'm using my Madame Glam gel paints for this now. I have, this is sped up times, so I've sped it up times two and then I've sped it up times two again. So this is probably sped up times four but this is the slowest, I mean it's an hour and a half of footage that I've put into, into 18 minutes, just under 18 minutes. So I'm hoping without it being too quick, but without being too slow that you get bored, you can see what I've actually done well enough. So I'm just using, right, so what I've done is with Madame Glam's gel paint, <clears throat> I've taken some white and some brown and I've made this more fleshy colour. So I'm just going to fill in his actual face. And then on this side, his ears are just going to, his ears look really big. I don't think his ears are actually that big. They just they just ended up looking massive. But I'm just going to make sure I fill those in because they do slightly come off the nail. So he does need ears. Everyone needs to be able to hear. <laughs> so once I've done that, there we go. That's what the face is looking like. I've cured that in the lamp just then. The gel paints from Madame Glam need a 60 second cure. And... Yeah, it's got to be an LED lamp. 60 seconds in an LED lamp. The ones with the little bulbs. The little tiny, lots of little tiny bulbs. And then I'm now drawing on his moustache. So this, you need to be, like his fleshy part, you could be a little bit messy with that. But this part you need to be more, less messy with. This needs to be nice and neat because this is going to show up. This is going to show up. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I can't get the words out. <laughs> But for this one, I've just used black gel paint. You can save 30% on Madame Glam using my code NatMug30, by the way. Um, it's the code you can't use when they've got a sale on. So if they haven't got a sale on, the code will work. If they do have a sale on, the code won't work. If you can get more off with the code, you might just want to wait until the sale finishes. But I'd honestly, I'd give up with these codes. These big companies, right? You, you've No, don't moan that. I'm not going to moan, sorry. Just shush nuts. Right, so I've drawing on his eyebrows as well. And then once I've done these, I will cure that in the lamp as well. And then I'm going to use the white to fill in his eyeballs. Now, the white only goes around this sort of side here. The rest of it is like his iris, the coloured part of his eye. But I'm going to fill it in completely. I don't know why. I just did. I just thought it would be easier if I just fill it in completely. <coughs> and then the... The same on this side. Now, I did realise 
that this the left eye that I'm doing here is actually slightly smaller than the right eye so it did it did look I mean you unless you're gonna look really close you might not notice it but I noticed it can you see it's just a little bit it's just a little bit smaller uh, then on his eyes the outer part of his eye the colored part the iris part he is this like light blue or a lighter blue and then in the middle of his eye it is black with like a kind of dark blue outline so I decided to I mix, I've mixed some of Madame Glam's blue gel paint here in with the white just to lighten the blue don't worry at this point if the inside part is not neat because again we're going to add that darker blue I'm just trying to neaten that up a little bit and again I'll pop that in the lamp before I do this next part so this is the this is the dark blue that I'm adding on now I am um, I I really really enjoy doing hand painted stuff the, the reason I don't do it as often is because it just takes me so long I have a newfound respect I mean I had respect for them anyway but anyone that does a lot of hand painted nails like especially that lady that does those really amazing her Instagram account begins with a V it's something like V I X U E her nails are just utterly incredible and they must just take her forever but I believe um, I think it was long hair pretty nails she bought a set from her and it cost her over a thousand dollars so I can I totally understand why they cost so much it's yeah it's just wow but yeah there we go um I mean her nails are a lot more in depth than my Mario now so yeah you'll have to go and I think it's v-i-x-u-e go and have a look on Instagram her nails are just incredible so sorry about that noise there's a lorry outside and it must be reversing because it's going you know sometimes they bleep well that one goes anyway right I've done I've started to do the hat but then I went back to the nose so I've mixed a little bit with the the fleshy color that I made I mixed a little bit more with some brown just to make it slightly darker because I thought I'd start adding in some shading you don't have to do the shading if you don't want to if you want to leave it quite just if you just want Mario a nice basic Mario don't worry about faffing around with the shading I this is I think this is why it took me so long because I thought I'd be clever and add some shading and yeah so what I've done is I'm imagining that the light is going to hit Mario kind of slightly above him on the left hand side so the the top sort of left side of his nose is going to be lighter than the rest uh, that's kind of what I was going for and then also he's going to have some shading under his cap but I'd already put the eyebrow on here so it made it a little bit awkward because <coughs> I had to go around the eyebrow but yeah I tried to add some shading on here later on I do add it I do add shading in with some black which was a massive mistake. Oh yeah, and then I thought, right, well, he's going to have some shading under his moustache as well. So I tried to add some here. And then, I, I think, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I was doing here. But I then decided to add <clears throat> his little mouth. But where I'd added that shading in, it made him look like he had a double chin. Oh, no, no, this, I'm adding some sort of shading here. And it, it made him look like, can you... Can you see it kind of made him look like he had a double chin? So I thought, right, I'm just going to darken this up a bit more. <laughs> and then I put that in the lamp. He also needs two little white dots on his eyeballs. And by the t by the way, every time I this every time the screen kind of s slides to the left or the right, yeah, it slides to the right. I I cure I cure him. Um, so it, yeah, I am curing between doing sections of him. This is his hair, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> silly I do add right before I cure it I was trying to add some black in here just because if you look at uh, the image that I had it made it look his hair looked a bit I don't know had his hair had like this little 
rounded bit on it so I was trying to put that on with the black but I, yeah I don't know if I quite managed I don't think I've quite mastered that anyway the badge on his cap is white with the M on I just wanted to neaten this up because I felt like I went over the red a little bit too much so if you need to wipe any off I used a it's it's actually a 3d acrylic brush I just dipped it in a little bit of um, gel cleanse I think it's gel cleanse that I've got in my pot at the moment if you don't have gel cleanse you can use isopropyl alcohol just to sort of neaten it up then I wanted to add some light onto the top of the cap I did go straight in with the white here but I realized I put too much white on so what I've done there was I just put a little bit of base coat on my palette and I'm going to use the base coat to just sort of what's the word to such um D dilute the colour yeah I'm using the base coat to kind of dilute that white just to make it sort of spread out a bit because I wanted it to look like the sun was hitting the top of the cap but I don't know quite if I was successful there anyway I did cure that and then now I'm just going to fill in the rest of the cap with the the red the good thing about Mario is that <clears throat> the red on his cap and his red dungarees, no they're not red, his blue dungarees, the red in, the Madame Glam red gel paint and the Madame Glam blue gel paint are literally like the perfect colours, you don't have to mix those with anything, so I was like working straight out the pot for those colours, which was really nice. So just be careful when you go around the cap. And I, oh yeah, look, I think I've done it already, but I did decide to start adding some very fine lines, like around his eyes. I've, I've put some very fine black lines around his eyes just to kind of define them a little bit more. Oh, then he's got a red vest, which I decided that I was just going to fill in before I cured it. So I thought I'll do that now before I cure it, then it'll be one less cure. And his arms, obviously, because he's got red arms where have I gone there I am see initially I was only planning on doing his face because I thought the less work I have to do the better <laughs> but I'd put his when I was when I started to draw his face on the nail I realized that I'd gone too I'd gone quite high up and I thought if I just put his face on I thought it might look a little bit silly so I thought I'd continue and add a bit more of his like we'd put his body all the way down the rest of the nail all right I've cured that and then I'm going to go in with the M you could put this M on before you cure it I don't know why I decided to cure it and then add the M on and M is obviously for Mario oh, look he's looking so good he's got big yellow buttons you could use a dotting tool to do this bit I don't know why I didn't it would have been so much easier with the dotting tool I did put them on and then think no they're a little bit too small so I did make them a little bit bigger before I pop them into the lamp and then now I'm just going to use the blue gel paint from the pot and just carry on filling in not filling in carry on coloring in his his overalls this bit was a little bit tricky because I was just having to be careful not to go over the yellow and the red his red top but the good thing about this this bit was a lot of the bottom bit was just literally filling in. So I decided that his legs were going to come down about here. And then I thought, right, instead of using my detailer brush that's going to take me ages, I grabbed my Madame Glam application brush, I put some blue gel on it, and I just filled the majority of that in with the application brush. And it took me no time at all. Just make sure that you go around the rest neatly. Okay, so that's going to go in the lamp now. And then it was at this point that I decided to add some black little fine lines. So we're just going to define his overall straps. I don't know what you want to call them. The, these bits. And then I thought I'd go under his chin. And then I ended up going all the way around his face. Just You just want a really, really fine line. And then around his cap, 
I can't remember when I done his eyes. I've I've edited this and I can't remember doing his eyes. Yeah, I decided to go around his nose as well. Sorry, a bit we went a bit blurry then. And then he's also got some like a couple of lines across his like detail on his overalls. And then yeah, I'm just going around these bits here as well. <clears throat> I think I go around the top of his cap, I can't remember. And around his hair. Oh yeah, right. So this bit here, I'd added a bit of the black gel paint in with some base coat and I thought I'd add some more shading um, under his chin as well and then also I do put a little bit around like under his belly because it makes him look like he's got a bit more of a belly but after I done this I realized that he kind of it kind of made him look dirty so I wish I'd done it with more of the brown color I don't know yeah I'm not quite sure do you see? I don't know, especially around his chin, it just made him look dirty. I tried to wipe some of it off, but... And then, oh yeah, and then I needed to just add a very small amount of detail on his ear using that slightly darker flesh tone colour that I made. And then again, look, I'm just adding some black just to define his hair and his ears. Oh yeah, and around the top. Oh no, around his badge. But I really enjoyed I really enjoyed making making him, painting him. It was much bigger than I planned. I thought it was only going to be small and he takes up like the whole nail. <laughs> right, anyway, give that a final 60 second cure. Then I'm going to velvet matte top coat him using Madame Glam's velvet matte top coat because I love it. So this will give you an idea of what he would look like shiny if you wanted to leave him shiny. but I like him matte. There we go. Oh, he's looking so good. And that is him finished. I absolutely love him. If you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It's completely free. Tomorrow, I'll be showing you the rest of the set and it will be completely finished tomorrow. But God bless. Love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. <laughs>